Market Mayhem, How the Israel-Iran Conflict Rocked Global Economies Hey there, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the world of finance and economics. Today, we have a truly riveting topic to discuss, the market mayhem caused by the ongoing conflict between Israel and Iran. In recent weeks, tensions between these two Middle Eastern powerhouses have reached a boiling point, sending shockwaves through global economies. The uncertainty surrounding the situation has led to a sharp increase in market volatility, with stocks plummeting and investors scrambling to protect their assets. One of the main factors driving this chaos is the potential for a disruption in oil supplies. Both Israel and Iran are major players in the oil market, and any conflict between them could result in a significant increase in oil prices. This, in turn, would have a ripple effect on the broader economy, leading to higher costs for consumers and businesses alike. Furthermore, the geopolitical ramifications of a full-scale conflict between Israel and Iran cannot be overstated. The Middle East is a crucial region for global trade and commerce, and any disruption in the flow of goods and services could have far-reaching consequences. Countries around the world are closely monitoring the situation, bracing themselves for any potential fallout. In the midst of this uncertainty, investors are looking for safe havens to protect their wealth. Gold, traditionally seen as a hedge against geopolitical risk, has seen a surge in demand, with prices hitting multi-year highs. Other assets, such as government bonds and currencies like the Swiss franc, are also seeing increased interest from nervous investors. As we navigate these turbulent times, it is crucial to stay informed and vigilant. The israel iran conflict is a stark reminder of the fragility of global markets and the importance of being prepared for sudden shifts in the economic landscape. We will continue to monitor the situation closely and provide you with the latest updates and analysis. Little serious damage. Iran conducted the attack in response to what it believed to be an Israeli raid on its embassy compound in Syria on April 1, which resulted in the deaths of senior Revolutionary Guards commanders. The attack came after months of hostilities between Israel and Iran's regional allies, which were sparked by the Gaza War. Nonetheless, Israel suffered only minor losses from the assault by more than 300 missiles and drones, with assistance from the United States, Britain, France, and Jordan. The Iron Dome defense system in Israel shot down the majority of them. A seven-year-old who was injured by shrapnel was the sole significant injury recorded in Israel. Additionally, not much significant property damage was reported. According to the authorities, an Israeli Air Force base was struck but kept running normally. Despite a decline in oil prices, risk sentiment on Monday led to a fall in Asian markets and an increase in gold prices. Pathway to the Future As the situation rapidly develops, the U.S. government's stance is expected to play a significant role. In this scenario, a temporary ceasefire is unlikely, the release of Israeli hostages is improbable, and the prospect of achieving a two-state solution involving Israel and the Palestinian territories is growing increasingly improbable. Sectoral Impact Oil-based industries like cars, transportation, aircraft, paints, tires, cement, and chemicals could be most affected by rising oil prices, which have a cascading macroeconomic impact across sectors and could lead to a sell-off. The prospect of conflict could upset the market, but ideally the dynamics of supply and demand for oil would remain unhindered. A costly attack. Though estimates vary greatly, Israel suffered a huge financial loss as a result of the weekend drone and missile attack. For example, a leading researcher at the Institute for National Security Studies in Tel Aviv estimated that Israel would need to spend $550 million defending itself against Iran's attack over the weekend. Included in this was the expense Israel had to pay to maintain 100 fighter aircraft in the air for six hours. Nonetheless, considering that each aero missile deployed to intercept an Iranian ballistic missile cost $3.5 million, an Israeli general estimated that Tel Aviv would have to pay between $1 billion and $1.3 billion. Israel asserts that although none of Iran's up to 170 drones or 30 cruise missiles 
made it as far as Israel, they were launched. Furthermore, it fired at least 110 ballistic missiles. However, very few of them made it into Israeli territory. In conclusion, the Israel-Iran conflict has had far-reaching consequences on global economies, from stock markets to commodity prices. As tensions continue to simmer in the Middle East, it's crucial for investors to stay informed and be prepared for the potential fallout. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the world of finance. Until next time, take care and happy investing.